Hi everybody, welcome to a new Python tutorial. In this quick tutorial I want to show you how easy we can add a progress bar to our code. So we are going to use this awesome third party module that is called TQDM. You can find it on GitHub, so it currently has over 13,000 stars, so it's very popular. And now if you want to install it, we can do this with pip, so we can say pip install t tqdm and then hit enter and I have already installed this on my computer and now we have to import it so we say from tqdm import tqdm and then let's say we have a for loop over some iterable and then we have a operation and we want to have a progress bar for this so we say for i in and then here we have a list one two three four five and then here we have some operations so i import time and then i simply say time dot sleep so we want to sleep and wait for 0.3 seconds here so that we can see the progress and now let's say we want to have a progress bar for this loop then the only thing we have to do is we have to wrap this iterable in the tqdm function like this and this is all we have to do and now if we run this code so we say python and then this file name progressbar.py then we see that we have the progress bar right here so in this case we have five steps because we have five elements in the list and yeah it's that simple so let's run this again and yeah so we can put in any iterable here so for example we can put in a range object with 10 elements and let's clear this and run this again and then we see we have 10 steps here and yeah it's that simple and in this special case where we want to iterate over a range object that we also have the optimized t range instance so we can import this too by saying from tqdm import t range and then we simply write the t range object here and iterate over this so now if we run this let's clear this and run this then we see that this works too yeah, so this is the iterable based approach and of course we can also update our progress bar manually. For example, we can wrap it in a with statement. So we can say with tqdm and we can also put an optional, optional total argument. So total equals 100 and then we say with tqdm as p bar so for progress bar and then here we have our loop so for i in let's simply say range 10 and then we do a update step so here we say time dot sleep 0.3 seconds and then we have to manually call the update so we say p bar dot update and then let's say the step that we want to update so here we want to update 10 and then as total we want to have 100 for example for 100 percent and now if we run this so let's clear this and run this then we see that this works too so now our total steps are 100 and which with each iteration step we update 10 so we add 10 to the progress bar so let's run this again and see how this works yeah and if we don't want to use the with statement we can also create a tqdm object and assign it to a variable but then we must not forget to call the close method at the end so we can do it like this so we say p bar equals tqdm and here we can also specify the total argument if we want total equals 100 and then we have our list again for i in range 1 uh, range 10 and then we say time dot sleep points th three seconds and then we have to call the update again p bar dot update 10 
And then when we are done, we have to call pbar.close. And now let's clear this again and run this one more time. And then we see that it works too like this. So yeah, that's it for today. And now you know how easily we can add a progress bar to our Python code. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye.